everybody, welcome to next commentary playing Silas mid lane versus Cassiopeia. Uh, could be a, a kind of annoying matchup sometimes because if you ever try to go on her and she does land her poison on you, she will like just be able to spam her E on you and out DPS you because it's consistent damage. So the only advantage you have is like poking her down and then going in later. I'm not sure if I should do W max or Q max versus her. Some people even mix it. Like do Q and W at the same time, put three points in both. Q max obviously would give more safety in lane and more wave clear, but W max might give potential 1v1 outplay. Uh, like uh, just make it so I can actually maybe outplay. I do have Rek'Sai, pretty good at ganking. They have a Shaco, obviously good at ganking. That guy has exhaust, she has TP, I have TP, she does not have biscuits, she went for the tier first item. Okay. We'll just prob I3 camp gank min prob. Okay. You can try, I can bot gank if Shaco goes top. Alright, alright. I see you. Not bad, not bad. Got two melees there for only a tiny bit of poke. Okay, nice. Only got hit once. <clears throat> melees are more important than the casters, so don't really care about those too much. Just trying to get the uh, EXP from it. <clears throat> Pretty unlucky. Wow, I actually can't believe I missed that. Jaco's here. He was just waiting to see if uh, Cassio would get ganked by Rek'Sai, most likely. But clearly didn't happen. Now he's bot side, the Shaco. a lot of her stuff there. I went for my Q here. I do have Biscuit available as well. Water. Use Biscuit and W. Just barely one. Tried to bait that the best I could. I'm probably go Ionian first, sounds pretty good. Was waiting to heal a little bit. Let's do mix match of uh, Q and W at the same time. I think it should be fine to do. Maybe should have went on her when I was still five and she was four. Could have been actually a decent trade. I think that there's somebody around mid, which is why she's playing this way. Like maybe he's on Raptors or something. 
No? Maybe not. Six. Wow, that Ari charm actually missed. I knew Shaker would probably commit for something like that, but I have flash advantage on this Cassio, so I can just flash and kill her. That guy doesn't have enough mana to do anything, so I can just back in front of his face, and there's nothing really he can do. Pretty good by us. I figured that she was probably baiting. Um, there was... I mean, okay, maybe I should have saved Cassie ulti for Shaco coming. I knew he was coming, but I was hoping that she would turn around to try to poke me. Getting the slow off isn't that, like, bad, though. <clears throat> she was still level 5, so... is not that difficult. Like, I can't really get outplayed. If I get hit by a stun, I could just die, because, I mean, there's a chance of, uh... Her just bursting me down with her poison. Wait, did I somehow ruin this lane? I was hoping for it to slow push back towards me, but it feels like it's not. It feels like it's just kind of stuck. No, actually it's coming back now. Just kidding. It's good. I just don't want to be on her side. I don't have flash. And long lane really helps me because actually she can be ganked by the Rek'Sai. So I'm trimming it a little bit, but it should still uh, push towards me here. Still looks fine. Okay, Shaco went top. So hard to not get hit by those. I think we can just chill. I don't really want to go on her without my ulti. If I dash towards her and she just immediately all ins, I'm pretty sure I just lose. There's no way out after I go in. I can only poke her down with my Q and then be ready. Rek'Sai is coming. Nice. We got behind her, so when she tried to go for the Rek'Sai, uh, didn't hit me as well. I made him use a lot of his mana there, but uh, when he goes back into the jungle, his mana regen will be so high it probably doesn't matter. Won't really affect anything. Pretty low mana myself. I don't know if Shaco's coming mid right now. Oh no, he won over there actually. Uh, this guy has no um, ulti from earlier, so let's get him. That's a fake.
A little tiny chunk. Didn't really do that much. I really need to get my last chapter just so I have more mana. Mm, let's just use TP back mid. I was thinking about maybe TPing behind bot lane, but. Maybe I can just roam there instead. Let's repink that. She just cleared it. Jacob went topside. Ballin's already dead, no reason to do anything there. I'm guessing Shaco's around mid. The way that she's pathing whenever I walk towards this brush is weird, as if she wants to fight. So there could be a really good chance that Shaco is nearby. This guy has flash as well. So she might flash ult, possibly. If Shaco is nearby, this guy is being playing very patiently. Okay, they're both dead. The guy's not even going for the final hit. He won AP, so... I was wondering if he would go for an E or something. Alistair used his flash as well. Oh, there might be fight here. This guy needs to be a bit careful. Never mind. I knew I wanted Shake ulti from the beginning, but it didn't really do as much as I was hoping. Oh my gosh. She flash W'd just to kill me. That's so depressing. I was gonna flash W, but I mean, there's no counterplay once you get hit by this. It was in such a good position that there is no way for me to even walk out of it. It also makes us though you can't even W because this is basically a short dash. So I can't use anything except for Q. Well played. You got me. Most of our team is kind of winning. I mean, Jasso is doing okay. Rex is really popping off. Even though, like, some of the kill lines aren't too bad, though. Like, 2 3 and 1 1. Still, though, we have an advantage. This guy has full uh, item. Are you dead, top? Yeah. Should be pretty careful here. I have no idea where the Draven went. I thought maybe he would be running topside, but maybe not. Jax also is extremely good versus Silas. Whenever I play versus him, he just pops his ulti and just kills me because I can't out sustain uh, his damage, it's too hard. Well played. I have Cassio ulti. Got him with the slow. Nice. Something shimmered. I don't know what it was from, but something made him shimmer, so we knew where he was. You guys, one and seven. Not the best game.
kind of, I guess, all snowballed, snowballed out of control when I'm getting a solo kill early on. Like, level 4, whatever it was. I still have to play smart just to be able to win the matchup, though, I think. Because she, uh... You know, she doesn't have boots or anything. She can't buy boots, but... She does have a Lion Reach, just like me. And her consistent damage is pretty insane if, uh, like, I make a mistake. All she needs to do is land one ability and spam her ability. there. Jesus Christ. Even with Alistair LT, I had literally nobody there. I think they were all like busy on Shaco, so. Oh, that was close. Almost died. Thank God for Alistair LT. He knocked me back into a weird spot and we got the Draven flash. Maybe we would have killed him if he didn't flash away, but he was the lowest person, so I was just going for him. The reason why I even went towards Cassio here is because I wanted to get the Alistair LT. Even if I went towards the Draven, I still wouldn't probably get Alistar ult. Although, maybe he, he could have turned on me. Like, if I went for the Draven, then Alistar probably would turn around to go for me. Maybe I could actually do something there. This guy's actually so strong. He probably deals so much damage. He has armor pen, plus also just, like, a mythic. If he catches his axes, it's probably going to hit, I don't know, if he crits, probably for like 400 or something. I'm guessing. That guy's gonna die before I can even reach it. Hmm. This guy's playing so far back. I think we should just like do his blue or something. Oh, actually, maybe not. We have Rift going. Holy shit, that did so much damage. I was hoping to hit it, but I accidentally hit a minion. Okay, got the inhib. Should be able to just get all of these guys' camps. Careful, dude. You might die to Shaco here. I'm like trying to be near him in case he tries to go for him.
sad. God, I heal for a lot. That was like half of my HP. that guy off. <sighs> Felt like I could have maybe done more. I mean, a win's a win though at the end of the day. Forgot what LP this guy is. I'm pretty sure he's pretty high LP, the Cassiopeia. We did pretty good in laning phase, I think. Didn't lose off of like playing incorrectly. Yeah, I did second most damage. Kites had literally popped off so hard. And this was versus, oh, I thought he was higher. I'm pretty sure he has been higher. This guy is actually pretty good at mid lane. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the Silas commentary. Um, Pretty sure everybody just kind of popped off. Eh, I mean, it was kind of even for a bit, but. Briss is a pretty good player. He had a lot of deaths. Played to our strengths. Maybe could have played more aggressive, but at the end of the day, we won. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on the video, and I'll see you guys next time.